Well, it's that time of the update again, where we go ahead and rank the units in a tier list, just so we can see who is better than the other. I hope you guys are excited for this. Make sure to hit the like button and of course subscribe if you are new and turn on notifications. We're so close to 100,000 subs that my voice just cracked. Yeah, but anyways, let's go ahead and get right into this tier list. I went ahead and made it like a little simpler. Must bring magic units, must bring air hydrid magic, must bring physical, must bring air hydrid physicals, support units. These guys are good and it's just okay. Starting off with Aizen, he is going to go into must bring air hydrid magic category. Still probably one of the top five, six units in the game. Like, that's it. He's top five, six units in the game. New unit that is going to join the Mustang Air Hydrant Magical team is going to be Akino, the Fallen Angel. Now, you guys are probably like, well, Toad, why is she going to join? Well, A, she becomes a hydrid after a few upgrades, and B, she does actually a lot of damage. Not a lot of people know how much damage she does, but it's quite insane. Uh, sorry about that. That was a... Uh... Uh, that was me farting. Uh, no, I'm kidding. It wasn't me farting. Anyways, that's why Akino Fallen Angel will be up there. Now, is she the best? No. But, like, in terms of, like, damage per minute, she gets up to, like, 2.7 million damage per minute. And because we don't have a ton of magical hydrid air units, she's going to go into that list. Akin Contracts. You know, Aki is a really good unit. Uh, ground physical with crit and a different type of attack. Uh, he's going to go ahead and go into the must ring physical unit still. Not the best of the must rings, but still goes there. All Might got buffed, so he does a lot of damage, but his main role is kind of still going to need to support and push back enemies. You're going to consider him kind of like Tatsumaki, so... When we get to Tatsumaki, that's basically what All Might will be doing for you guys. Angel Devil is probably the second strongest unit in the game still. But because of the fact that he, like, kind of kills you, he's really not that amazing. Alrighty, alrighty. It's time we admit it. Arwen belongs in this category. Right, Ar Armin belongs in this category right there. No, I'm kidding. I don't even know why I left him here. Dark Asta is currently a good physical unit. There are better physical units that are must ring than Asta. That is why he belongs in that list. Now we move on to Bakugo, who is actually, like, the seventh strongest in the game gain when it comes to being like just base stat damage he's a ground hybrid unit that does up to 3.6 million damage per minute within circle aoe some people do not like that the fact that he's circle aoe but he's definitely in must bring air hybrid physical unit greed hunt is a must bring physical unit i'm gonna leave greed in a must bring physical just so you guys don't get confused with him being support because he does so much damage that people are gonna think, well, you're only gonna bring him for lead. Yeah, you're bringing him for lead and for the fact that he's gonna do a ton of damage. So we'll put him in the must bring physical. Bong Silverfang is a good magic user. He's definitely a uh, fallen. Actually, I think he's like the physical, not cons not. Oh yeah, he's physical. Uh, so he's gonna go over here in the good physical uh, tier right there. Snake Princess is a good support that stuns. I'll put her behind all. Mm, yeah, I'll put her behind all night because all night just got a huge buff. So that's why he is going to go over there. Lord Loros is still one of the hardest hitting magic hybrid units in the game. We're going to put him behind Aizen just because of the fact that he doesn't hit full AoE. That's literally the only reason why he's going to fall behind Aizen. Mm. Mm. Yeah, we're going to put him behind Aizen. Just, just imagine him on, like, on top of Aizen. That's where he actually belongs. Broly is an okay unit. I don't even know why he's on this list as well. Brooks, Soul King, great support unit, but definitely not the best support you're going to want to bring. You'd rather bring Erwin, you'd rather bring Kisuke, and you'd rather bring Wendy instead of Brooks. Bulma is, of course, a must bring. We're going to put her on the physical just because for the for the memes. Cell Perfect did get a buff that made him, you know, really good as a physical air hitter. Um, it's just that he's good, you know? He's not a must bring physical air hitter because now you got Bakugo, who is, becomes a hybrid, and there's actually two new units that we'll get to. You guys probably already know who they are, who are a ton better than Cell. Rizalanti Deku is a must bring physical unit. As a matter of fact, Rizalanti Deku is the third strongest unit in the game when it comes to damage. Like straight raw DPM. Rizalanti Deku is OP. The only thing that makes him kind of mid is the fact that he has like a lane attack 
and it's only like a 10 range. But his range 35, he attacks every seven seconds. He does, he got a buff. Yeah, Deku is definitely unlust bring physical unit. You don't want to get unique on him per se, but you do want to get like divine, golden, you know? Those are good passes to get to Rizalanti Deku. Chainsaw Man Hydrid is going to bleed. Yes, he's going to lead like Bon. We're gonna put him behind Bon actually just because he's not obtainable anymore except through trading, so that is where he goes. Diane is a mustering physical unit, definitely like here. It's just the fact that Diane has such a huge, a huge circle of attack whenever she hits that it makes her kind of decent. She has like 2.5 million DPM. You know what? No, we're, we're going to set the bar, you know, where it should be. She's going to go down there. We got our man Diavolo here. Great slow for infinite runs. It increases your damage by 5%. Very good unit. Once again, the must drink air hybrid magic. Best unit in the game is going to be this guy right here, Dio. Well, that's if you have unique. Either way, Dio is someone that if you got Dio and if you have Dio, you have one of the best units in the game. And if you're thinking about going for unique on any unit, go for unique on Dio. Amelia, top of the line support unit. You can place five of her and you can slow units. Endeavor is probably the best new magic unit in this update. Uh, he does a ton of damage. When I mean a ton, I mean like four million damage per minute with all three units. And he learns, yeah, he's really good. He's gonna contend with none other than Itachi. Now, I personally have unique on Itachi and I personally like units that attack faster than other units. So Itachi will almost attack two times before Endeavor attacks once, but Endeavor does like two times the amount of damage. So they're both must bring magic units. As a matter of fact, Endeavor technically out damages Itachi by like a few thousand. But if you have one, you do not need the other. Arnie's is a great ground physical unit, probably falls right behind Diane, uh, and maybe even behind Perfect Cell, just because he got a buff, but we'll put her right behind Diane for this like tier list. Uh, he is a great support unit. If you don't have an Erwin for infinite leaderboard runs, you're gonna need an Erwin. Kisuke, same thing. He's gonna go actually up here, probably behind Amelia. Uh, this guy is an okay unit. The only reason you're gonna use him is if you go to like the leaderboard runs and if you have uniques on him. If you do, congratulations. You have the best unit in the game for leaderboard runs. Golden Frieza Emperor is a must ring air hybrid magic. And as a matter of fact, he is the sixth strongest unit in the game in terms of damage per minute. Now, I'm gonna put him ahead of Aizen, it's just that Aizen still has a full AoE attack, which makes him really, really good. But Golden Frieza, along with, of course, Metal Knight, they're both interchangeable in this category right here. I'm gonna put Golden Frieza ahead of Metal Knight just because he's newer. Other than that, they're both really, really good units. Genos, yeah. He's a, he's a really good ground physical that does burn. So he's actually a lustering physical. I'm gonna put him behind the chainsaw man and uh, Bon, just because we already have better burn units, but he is a good a physical burn unit. Gakko album is honestly just a good physical. He, yeah. Uh, Crush is a brand new like, support meta in terms of the new gain loads. If you don't have crush, that like tank gain load, whatever, where they all have 20 shields, it makes things so much harder. So you definitely wanna have a crush on your team. Gangspear is a good physical unit. We got ourselves Gojo, who is gonna fall into the support category just because of his time stop. His damage is still really high. We can almost put him in the mustering magic category, but he's definitely fallen off. If you had to choose just the six units to bring along, I personally wouldn't bring Gojo. Gauther Invasion, a new confused unit, kinda like, uh, what's his face? L uh, Lulu, but he's, yeah, he's not as consistent as we would like him to be, so he's gonna go right there. Gray, he's a stun air hitter, which is great, but definitely not one of the best units in the game. Hanji Captain, on the other hand, is on par with Hawks, okay? Hanji Captain is on par 
with Hawks. It's just that Hawks does a little bit more damage, but then Hanji bleeds. So both of these are must bring physical air hydrid units. I am gonna personally put, uh, what? Why does it say that? Anyways, I'm personally gonna put Hawks ahead of uh, Hanji, but just know they are both the best two physical air units in the game. Hine goes, I actually don't remember if Hine is physical or magic. Uh, she's actually magic. So Hine goes, magic is a good magic unit. Ice Queen. <sighs> Ice Queen's really good. Don't get me wrong, okay? Ice Queen's really, really good, especially for tournament runs, especially for even some infinite runs, you can bring her. I wouldn't suggest bringing her because then she like messes up your time stop. But Ice Queen is gonna fall into the support category, kind of like how Gojo falls there. She's gonna be like your support stun units now. Still does a ton of damage. Definitely could use a little buff if we wanna keep her meta relevant still, but still a very good unit to have. Ichigo physical has fallen off the top must bring category. Jin Mori is an okay unit. If you do the tournament within the next three weeks and you get him, that is great. You have a new cosmetic and he's cool. Other than that, he's just, yeah, he's just there. Jolene, good magic user, probably falls like right on top of where Hine Ghost is. Jotaro Sirius does a serious amount of damage just as much as Jolene actually and uh yeah that's that's about it so just because he does as much damage as Jolene Jotaro series is actually gonna fall down the list to right here um I had a Diane still just because of the fact that he has his time stop ability Jozo you guys have not seen a video from the from this just quite yet I will make a video on him very soon but it does seem like he is a new physical unit he is the leaderboard unit that you got from the last update so if you got top 50 on leaderboards you got yourself one of these units i'm 96 percent certain that he's a physical and he's gonna fall into the good physical category but don't quote me on that i might be wrong for this one so i apologize king julius good support unit ahead of gauther ahead of you ahead of you ahead of you definitely top of the support units ken Pledgey is a good physical unit i would say that his stun is kind of irrelevant, honestly. Same thing with Kilua. Um, his stun is kind of irrelevant, but Kilua just got a buff. That is why Kilua is back on this list, and he's not actually off of this list. Kilua actually ranks like 35th in terms of damage, and he stuns. So he's a good ground physical unit. Um, he kind of belongs like in the Jotaro category where he stuns and everything, but not the best. King Sloth is a must bring air hydrid hitter. Yep, he is. Uh, I'd actually put him behind Lord Boros and a little bit ahead of Akeno. Now, Akeno, I think, does more damage than King, but uh, King is just a straight up hill unit. So if you're gonna go for either of them, actually, no, King gets out damaged by Akeno by quite a bit. So we'll put him ahead behind Akino. There we go. All right. I already have Kisuke on the list. Sorry about that. We got Kodeno scared. I'm, oh, I'm just, I don't even use Kodeno scared, but I think she's a, like a good ground physical. Nothing that amazing. So she belongs on that spot right there. Koneko Hellcat is one of the best, if not the best unit from the high school DXT update. I personally like Akeno better because she is a hybrid, but Koniko Cat is actually in the top 10 slash 11 units for like damage in terms of damage per minute. But I, I, I almost don't want to say must bring physical, but because her damage is so high, she is definitely in must bring physical and she's actually going to be ahead of Angel Devil. Also, uh, Angel Devil is a magic, so I don't even know why Angel Devil is there. He is going to fall behind King Sloth, though. I'm sorry. That was my mistake. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put Koneko all the way over here, actually. Her damage is insane, and if you get Divine on her, she's going to be a great, great, great infinite run leaderboard unit. Not the best, but a very great one if you're trying to get to like a really high wave. Lulu, yeah, he's a great support unit. We know that. 
Uh, Levi's good. Levi's just not that good. So Levi's getting outdone by Hanji, which is why he's going to belong on this list right down here. Lucky Thunderfield is going to go right where Asta is. He's always competing with Asta. Honestly, I'll put Asta ahead of Lucky, though. <sighs> I don't. I think it's time that I retire uh, Lucy off of this list because she just ain't it. And then Madara, he got a buff quite a few updates ago. It made him do a lot of damage, but his SPA was still like extremely high. So because of that, he's kind of just, I don't know. He's an okay unit at best, guys. Don't sell in for Ladder at this point. We got another support unit right here. And then we got ourselves Neliotis Assault, the number one group DPM user in the entire game for physical. So he is actually even better than Deku Vigilante. Yes, you can only place three uh, Neliotis's. You can place four Dekus. But at the end of the day, the fact that uh, Neliotis has a 50% crit makes him amazing. Merlin is going to go right up here ahead of Julius. Ah, I don't even know why he's on this list right now. He's kind of falling off. We're putting in the okay unit like up here. Mochi, slow unit, not the best slow unit in the game. Shadow Moria, good magical unit. Nami is going to go into the support category just because she actually, I'm going to put her here. Mustang, air, hydrid, magic, slash farm. Kent is no longer a meta unit, he is an okay unit. Same thing with Natsu, same thing with Netsuro, but he got buffed, so Netsuro will go over here in the good magic category. Same thing with Noelle, she's actually the best one of all of these so far on the good magic category, so if you have Noelle, that's good, but you want to go for the must ring units. Corona, very good slow support unit, definitely goes up here, and she hits airs, so yeah. There's one unit, and that is Tatsumaki, who is going to be better than her, and she definitely belongs up there. I always thought that Perona was better, but Tatsumaki's knockback is insane, especially for leaderboard runs, guys. <sighs> Piccolo, Piccolo, Piccolo. Why did they do you so dirty? You know, Piccolo has so much potential. You know, he he's basically Gohan's father, you know? It, it's just that they made... Piccolo have an ex- oops, sorry, I meant to type this in the other chat. They made Piccolo have an extreme amount of range for no reason, because his dead DPM is still trash. So Piccolo, honestly, as a magic unit, is going to go under a good magic unit category. Definitely not a must bring unit by any means whatsoever. Power Fiend. I'm going to put her in the support category. You guys can tell me differently. That's where she's going to go. Poochie is amazing. Must bring magic unit. Um, in terms of damage, Poochie gets out damaged by the other units on this must bring list, which is why he's going to fall behind Endeavor and Itachi. But his ability makes him a must bring magic unit. <sighs> I'm so sad that they did Rhea so dirty, but she is a good magic unit. She's not even a must bring. As you guys can see, the list is extensive for the must bring category. So she kind of unfortunately got the, uh, is it called like the short end of the stick? And she just isn't good. She's like top 50 in the game, but other than that, mm -mm, she ain't it. Sasuke is uh, I'm pretty sure Sasuke is a physical now that I think about it. Sasuke is a ground magic user who is also hybrid. Um, he also stuns, so I'm going to put him ahead of King. A little behind Akino because, well, actually, no. Sasuke does more damage than Akino. I lied. Sasuke does more damage and he stuns, so better than Akino. Very good must bring air hydrate, but I would still go for Golden Frieza, Metal Knight, you know, before you go for Sasuke. Shigaraki is one of those new units that not a lot of people know about, but he is a huge support unit. He's like a lead where he cancels like regenerations for six seconds and then they decay for like 18 ticks for a total of like 60, 70,000 damage. Um, I don't know that Decay also adds on to like true damage, but I'm pretty sure it is true damage, which makes him a very good support unit to bring on runs. Now, is he the best support unit? No. So I'm definitely going to put him over here. And his damage isn't really all that, to be honest with you. Um, 
Yeah, he's like top 20 in damage. He's full AoE, and he has the Decay. It's just that the Decay is what really adds on to his damage. Shisui Flicker is literally the same strength as Sasuke, basically, but he isn't a hybrid. So he's a good physical unit. I definitely would put him up here, maybe behind these two units, just because I'd rather bring a bleed just in case there's regen enemies. Soifon Hornet is still unlustering air physical. It's just that she's the bottom tier. Actually, the bottom tier would be Uryu, but Uryu is no longer an amazing unit. He's just an okay unit. Sonic Speed, still a top 15 physical ground unit. Uh, definitely belongs to the a little bit ahead of Shisui, actually, in terms of damage, believe it or not. <sighs> My first unique unit is just an okay unit at this point, honestly. I, I'm gonna call him a good magic unit just because I'm biased towards him, but yeah, there it is. Sukuna must bring support unit. The 20% or 25% extra damage that he does is insane. Tatara is an okay unit. Tatsumo is a good unit. Not that amazing. I think he's physical. You see our list of like physical units. Actually, he's a hybrid, but he's still not a mustering. You see our list of physical units has actually grown quite, uh, quite big as opposed to what it's been in the past. Our magic units are actually lacking, so we've definitely turned into a physical meta. Uh, Tengen's okay unit. Thor is a good physical unit. It probably belongs like up here. I think Thor is like top 25, top 30 or something like that. Very good ground physical unit. Todoroki release is a support. Not the best support, but is a support. Uh, Toshiro belongs over here with Soifon. I would say Soifon is actually better than Toshiro. Good magic unit, Uri, uh, uh, ah, what's his name? I can't remember his name, but he belongs there. Unohana is a new support that belongs with Sukuna. Unohana actually does a circle AoE with bleed. You guys will find out very soon when I get my video out. I've just been really, really, really busy, so I haven't been able to, like, actually do all these videos. But yeah, her damage isn't incredibly high, but she does do 50% bleed. So if you're looking for a bleed unit, she's definitely there that I would still drink Sukuna over Unohana. And actually I would put these two over them as well. Already got Kisuke on the list. Already got that. We got Voss, you know, Vash, Vash. Yes, it's Vash. I try gun, I think is where he's from. Don't quote me. He's, he's, I don't know, for like a tier 50, you'd expect the tier 50 to be better than uh, the other unit that we got in the earlier part, but no, Vash just ain't it. And I think he's, he's physical. Don't quote me guys, this one's a weird one. I don't remember, but he's not good. He's not that good. He's good, he's not that good. There's better units than him, you know, better pizza, better ingredients, Papa Russo kind of units. All right, Vegeta, whoo, yeah. Yeah, Vegeta's gonna go up there, guys. Uh, he can be interchanged with uh, Hanji and Hawks, but I'm gonna put Vegeta up there. You guys can debate it, but they're must ring. I, if I were to bring one of these, I would bring Vegeta over. Mm, actually, I would bring. Mm, I don't know. These three are so interchangeable, guys. You're gonna. Yeah, you want all three. It depends on the situation. We got Veku, who is. Veku is just an April Fool's joke, okay guys? I'll make my video on him when I can. I got so many videos I gotta make, oh my gosh. Heavy Weather is a good magic unit. There is better magic hybrid units in the game. Wendy is a great support. She definitely belongs up there. You're also a support. You can kind of go there. Yamamoto is a good physical unit. He's definitely fallen off. It's just his ability that keeps him up here. Same thing with Yami. Yami does a good amount of damage. And yeah, he's just a good amount of damage. And finally, Yuno does not belong on the air hydrant must bring magic because his damage has fallen off, unfortunately. So he's a good magic. Um, I think... He belongs in front of her. I'm so sorry for headphone users. Uh, I think he belongs in front of Rias, but um, actually, I think Rias belongs in front of him. Yuno does 1.5 million, and then Rias does 1.8 million. So actually, Rias is better than Yuno. Um, and then finally, Yuto is a good magic user as well. 
But that'll be it for our tier list. I'm sorry, I try to make these short, but I try to explain every unit the best that I know. And this is it, this is the tier list. If you're gonna summon any unit, summon for the top four lists only. And then of course, if you're ready, go ahead and get yourself some support units. You're obviously gonna need Wendy, you're obviously gonna need Bulma, and you're obviously going to need like, uh, well, you can't get Amelia, but like some of these support units. But definitely go for these top four and then work your way down to whoever you want. I hope you guys like this. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn notifications on, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Reese's Thesis, bye!